This is a next station that was donated by Mason to the channel. I drove across three states to pick it up so I could do a video on the first web browser. And honestly, it's not coming together. I have the machine working. I even have Next Step reinstalled. But if I'm being truthful with myself, I'm flirting with burnout. However, since I still want to make videos, we're going to fix that by celebrating the end of season one on this channel. As usual, this is your host, End Commander, and today we're going to ring in a new era of a retrospective of everything we've done together thus far. What you're seeing on screen is the source code to Hello.C, the Hello World application for Windows 1.0 written over 35 years ago. So stop me if you heard before. You're browsing eBay when you find a strange item. You take a closer look at the photos and you find yourself having more questions than not. If you used Windows throughout the 90s or early 2000s, then these should be familiar sights and sounds. They are, of course, the welcoming chimes of Space Cadet Pinball. Did you catch that? I'll play it again in slow motion. The RS6000 line was essentially IBM's main line of PowerPC-based computers. For the most part, it works just fine, but we're not quite out of the woods just yet. Fundamentally, this channel is finding pieces of history that I find interesting and making it interesting for others. It's an expression of who I am. Likewise, it's also why I fundraise for causes that affect me and my community. At the moment, I can't find this next station interesting, but I can tell you what I intended to do, and when I'm ready to come back, you'll know what to expect. The first web browser was written as a way to easily share data. I've actually covered it and Next Step as part of a cameo on RMC back in 2018, but given where I am now, I'm not super satisfied with how I presented it, and thus it's time to grab it back and do it all over again but this time a bit better. And well, that brings me to now. This is me in 2020 on my second channel, The Restless Yankee, as a guy with a GoPro and a selfie stick who tried to bike across the country. So, it's about seven o'clock on Monday. Uh, I had to go for it, I had to start riding. I have not slept a wink but I really don't have a choice because I'm going to stop having useful consciousness or imagining. I mean, the sun won't even be up for at least another hour, so I'll keep status updates as I go along. I need to find a place to get breakfast at some point. I started that trip in February of 2020 of that year. You know what else happened? A lot of things. Fundamentally though, all I wanted was that experience to be saved. It was my record of a quest to find perfection and actually achieving it. For me, it was on a lake on a campground after being caught in a horrid storm and then seeing an incredible sunset. At different times, I've seeked different things, all of which can be described as my personal expression of freedom. I didn't expect Restless Yankee to take off, but it did teach me how to do write-ups, to do scripting, which is how I got my foot in the door here. Now it's time to bring it back. If you want to understand what that means, I've re-edited my last season of The Restless Yankee into a short montage in the style of an End Commander video. So, for once, this is The Restless Yankee welcoming you all. Let me show you how it started. Good morning, all. Today is Sunday, and my name is Mike. And this is the start of an adventure. And in a little bit over an hour, I am going to be on a flight to Charlotte and then Jacksonville, for the next leg of this adventure. And if you look carefully, you might notice that the chain is currently not attached to it. You hear that the uh, chain has in fact broken on the bike. The sign says St. Augustine, 25 miles. 
That's the Atlantic Ocean. All right, time to christen a bicycle. Now, hopefully I don't get soaked by this. One, two, okay. The wheels have been in the Atlantic. Mile after mile, past the 60 mile mark, for sure. And this, this is how it ended. Holy. Okay, you know what? I'm wet. It's raining. The tent is soaked. It was entirely and completely worth it for this view. One perfect moment of beauty that defined me. That's why I can do the things that I do here. Over the last few months, it's becoming increasingly clear that the world has reached a pinnacle of sorts. To me, it's like seeing the dawn of a new era, and I don't feel like End Commander at the moment. Instead, I'm the Yankee seeking perfection by staring into the infinite. However, it doesn't mean that I won't be back. Throughout my life, I've always gone through these cycles. Back in 2014, I created a replacement for Slashdot called Soylent News after one tone-deaf comment too many proved to be the one that broke the camel's back. That site is still there and actively visited even in 2022, even though I haven't been actively involved in years. For those who knew me then, you know that this channel was starred through an article writing up what it took to build Hello World for Windows 1.0. It's one of many I did at the time, and those articles I have since saved on my blog. This channel now has 35,000 subscribers and millions of views. However, if I keep going with End Commander as it is now, it's going to become forced and we're all going to suffer for it. So it's time for a bit of change. It's time to get on my bike and head out into the sunset once again. While I'm doing that, those journeys are going to get recorded on my second channel, The Restless Yankee. By the time this video goes out, there will already be a follow-up to this there. I need to understand what the last few years of my life really meant. More specifically, I want to understand what drove people to ride on January 6, 2021. To do so, I'm going to dive into history, starting with biking to Boston and exploring the birthplace of the American Revolutionary War, and continuing traveling until I can make my peace with it. This might sound like a fool's errand, but you know, I eventually made my peace with the war on terror by playing tourist in Erbil, a city in the northern part of Iraq, and finding a shrine of George Bush in a window display. All I have from this period are stills, but you know, it's enough. Likewise, a few years later, I not only ended up visiting Alaska, I moved there for a time. While there, I drove to the extreme northern tip accessible by road simply because I could. Perhaps I will share those stories through the photos I took then. After all, it's not every day you're in Egypt at the height of the Arab Spring or giving a talk on global leaks at the Hackers on Planet Earth conference. After I spent a fair bit of time in introspection and confirm what I hold to be true, I'll be ready for this again probably in the form of new content focusing on building communities and documenting the birth of the internet. Until then, I'll be uploading vlogs on Restless Yankee with the occasional summary posted here as I complete each milestone of those trips. Don't worry, those videos will have everything you have come to expect thus far. I've learned a lot since I started this channel, but in the end it's just me and my camera. You might need to wait a bit since I still have to put things in storage and clean up my life. However, by the time I have done so, I'll be in a good place to make long form videos again. And well, for people who want vintage computer content, the world is at your fingers. There's even a channel that can be best described as Cursed Max and the best view on YouTube of the back of my head available on demand. So, you know, for the time being, this is End Commander, the Restless Yankee, and Michael Cassidy of all, collectively wishing you all a pleasant day. 
but if you happen to find me on the road of life, well have a pint and I'll be glad that you're here. Hope you can all keep the lights on for me. We'll be back soon. Let's wrap this up.